Hi students, so welcome back to our super quick revisions. Today we will be starting with the questions on total quality management. Now, uh, in total quality management, we have done quite a lot of variety of the questions. Okay, now first question that we all did was one of the longest questions that we all had. There was some particular company that was producing the products, but when it started to produce, it had a lot of defects. It had a lot of replacements from the customer. Okay. And we were given the details about three periods, period one, period two, period three. Company also follows just in time system that was given to you in the first paragraph and did not have any stocks of material, WIP or finished goods. That's a classic case of your just in time. In any case, your just in time lectures are still pending. They'll be coming after this. Okay. So the product that these guys make is called as product X. For that, they require two types of raw material. That is raw material A and raw material B. Whatever are the resources that are required of A and B, all those particular things were given. So therefore, for one unit of X, three units of A are required at the rate of 18, that was supposed to be 54. And two units of B at the rate of 9, so therefore that was supposed to be 18. So 54 plus 18 in this particular case was 72. Okay, so your material cost was supposed to be uh, 72. Your other variable cost was supposed to be 15. So therefore, in all your variable cost was supposed to be 87 rupees. This figure will be of use to us. Apart from that, uh, there was fixed cost of 1,62,000, not much relevant in this question, but then this particular thing was relevant. It was anticipated that 10% of the units worked on will be defective and will have to be scrapped. So therefore, if you produce 100, then 10% will be defective. So therefore, 90 will be kind of good units, which will be sent to the customers. Okay. So therefore, out of 100 that you all produce, 10 will be defective and 90 will be ready to be shipped to the customers. Okay, this was one thing. They, now, obviously, this kind of defectives will be coming as part of internal failure cost. Okay, that was one thing. Second thing. Second thing in this particular case, there were supposed to be replacements. Okay, we send the goods to the customer. The customer says that these are not correct units. Okay, there is some kind of a defect. So therefore, we say you give the, us back the units and we'll replace them free of cost. Okay, currently those replacements are at the rate of 2% of quantity invoice to the customer in fulfillment of the orders so replacements are at the rate of two percent of the units invoice what will that particular thing mean if you produce sorry if you sell the customer 100 units okay and you send those 100 units to the customer he says two percent are defective means two units are defective i tell him give them back to me so therefore he gives them back to me and then in that particular case, I produce two units more and I give it to him. So therefore, in order to be selling 100, ultimately I need to be producing 102 units. Okay. So you will have to be relating this particular data with this particular data to be trying to solve this entire question. So therefore, there is one classic case of defectives that is internal failure cost. There is one classic case of replacements that will be external failure cost. Okay. Now with that, we all started in this particular case with solving of the problem okay in solving of the problem what was asked in part a that was in reference to in this particular case your appendix okay now appendix was given for period one period two period three in period one okay and in part a what you had to be doing you had to be just proving that our standard cost was supposed to be 87 in reality it was 87 only okay and in that also try to be showing separately for material and variable overheads so therefore in this particular appendix we were given units worked on and in this case we were given material a and material b data combined so therefore if you divide this particular thing by this it exactly comes to 72 and again if you divide 91800 by 6120 that exactly comes to 15. we just had to be proving whatever we all had thought all those particular things had happened okay this was one proving that we all had done the other kind of a proving that we all had done was to tally up the units over here so therefore how did we try to be doing that okay now we started away with 6120 i'll try to write it somewhere units worked on was 6120 okay from 6120 we subtract our defectives at this at the rate of 10 percent so therefore we'll be left with this particular figure this particular figure 6120 minus 612 it had come to 5508 okay this was a figure that was there okay Apart from that, once this particular thing was done, our units invoice was how much? 5,400. So, 5,400 into 2%, this particular figure was 108. This 612 is nothing but defectives, that's your internal failure cost. This particular thing is nothing but replacements, that is your external failure cost. So, therefore, if we could tally this particular number with this, then it means that we had planned for 10% defectives, 2% of replacement, exactly that particular thing happened, hence proved. Okay. In part second, what we had to be doing, 
find out the value of internal failure cost and external failure cost. So therefore, 612 units got wasted here into 87. That is my variable cost of production. 108 units got wasted. So therefore, in this particular case, please multiply by 87. That's it. Okay. So this was your internal failure cost. This was your external failure cost. Now, after solving part A and part B, okay, this particular question took a turn. Now, from part C, no, what started to happen is that this 10% and 2% now will not start to be happening. We will try to reduce it because we are becoming more quality conscious. So therefore, we are incurring lot amount of extra cost. Okay, which particular extra cost? In period 2, we are incurring equipment accuracy checks of 10,000 and staff training cost of 5,000. Staff training cost, if you train the staff in a proper way, then in that case, losses will not happen only. So, therefore, that particular thing is nothing but prevention cost. Okay. Equipment accuracy checks, those particular equipments that verify whether your uh, product made was accurate or not. So, therefore, this particular thing is appraisal cost as it will be done once the production is done. So, therefore, it is an expense that is incurred after the activity is performed. Okay. So, therefore, this was the appraisal cost. This was a prevention cost. Exactly same like that in period three also. Equipment accuracy checks in any case was appraisal cost. And 5,000 rupees of inspection cost. Inspection is always done once a product is produced. No, So, therefore, this was also your appraisal cost only. Apart from that, staff training cost, that is supposed to be your prevention cost. And 3,000 rupees of extra planned maintenance on equipment. In case you'll be maintaining the equipment in a proper way, goods will be getting produced in a proper way only, boss. Okay. So, therefore, both these particular costs were prevention costs. Now, due to you incurring money on appraisal cost and prevention cost, automatically amount of defectives and replacement will be starting to be uh, to be falling. So what we had to be doing, what we had to be doing in part first of the question, in part first of the question, we had to try to do a reconciliation and the changes from the planned levels. Example, example, if you try to see the appendix over there, 6200. So this was the units worked on. Okay. Uh, same way for period three, I'll try to explain for period two. So therefore units invoiced were 5500. Okay. Now, this was the data in this particular case of period 2. Okay. Now, for period 2 and for period 3, although I am only trying to be doing the recap for period 2, those guys that given to us actual free replacement was only 170 units in this particular case. So, therefore, 170. I am writing all actual data. So, therefore, this particular thing was 5670. Okay. 5670. Uh, 6,200, 6,200 minus 5,670. So, therefore, this was your actual replacements that was there, 530. Now, all this was actual data. Actual units worked on, actual internal defectives. Okay, then this will be your replacements. And finally, this particular thing will be nothing but units invoice. And we had to be finding out the deviations from that 10% and 2%. So, therefore, what did we do over here? 6,200, 10% comes to how much? 620. So, 620 units should have been defectives, but then actual was only 530. So, therefore, in this particular case, uh, 620 minus 530. So, therefore, 90 in this case was less. That was a positive factor for us. Then in that case, it became 170. 170, uh, 5,500 into 2%, into 2%. Percent. So, therefore, that came to 110. So, therefore, replacement should have been 110. That is actually increased to 60. So, therefore, this was supposed to be a negative factor. So, we had to be trying to be finding out the changes from the planned level of 10% and 2%. That was whatever was our part over here. In case of part 1, okay, then further part 2. Part 2 in this particular case, we had to try to find out for period 2 and period 3, what will be your internal failure cost, external failure cost, appraisal cost and prevention cost. I have already told you about the appraisal cost and prevention cost. And internal failure cost was very simple, 530 into 87, 170 into 87. That's it. Okay, we got our answers with that also. Okay. Now, last part in this case was preparing of a report i made you all prepare a report in a certain manner and i told you all that any other form of report is all okay for me okay what did we do from period one to two okay from period one to two and then from period two to three how much internal failure cost went down we subtracted the failure cost of period one and period two so therefore that was kind of our savings okay same thing for external failure cost also i told you all in the previous lecture that whenever you're going to be doing your tqm okay obviously internal and external failure cost will be falling as such okay usually it should be falling although in one case i think it increased also but that's okay so therefore those were nothing but our savings in cost due to tqm and then obviously to achieve this particular saving, you incurred your appraisal cost and in this case, you incurred your prevention cost. Okay, that's it. 
and then in that particular case this was our final answer okay this was supposed to be our final answer in this case that is whatever is the net result of tqm now in beginning it was negative then it started to become positive and in comments i try to give you this particular thing that tqm is a long run philosophy it never ever tries to give you immediate benefit it takes time okay for you all uh, to spread that great quality among your customers today you are offering good products to your customer they will start to realize that after some time that the quality of the product is very good obviously they will use it then only they'll start to come to know that particular thing the customers will know not know about the great quality the moment they'll be purchasing they'll be coming to know about the great quality when they start to be using they'll be spreading that particular word so overall your goodwill will be rising so therefore all these particular things are long run philosophies and we can be seeing that in long run it has started to give good amount of benefit to us okay that was your this particular question i've given i guess this particular question as three star question because there's only one question which i try to be thinking covers almost all the aspects of tqm your internal failure cost your external failure cost your comments in each and everything okay now uh i should be reading it once we have been given data of three periods we have been given internal failure cost that is defects at the rate of 10 percent of goods produced also in this case there is external failure cost okay this is uh, external failure cost that is replacements at the rate of two percent of goods invoiced this means that if we sell 100 units two are defective we take these two units back and send two new units hence to sell 100 we need to be producing 100 and we need to produce 102 units all losses are valued at variable cost of production so variable cost was production was uh, 72 rupees of material plus 15 rupees of that in part a we have been asked to prove that actual losses are 10 percent and 2 percent only we have to just do in this case a reconciliation and nothing else okay so that's what i told you all also in part b we just have uh, to value we just value the above losses at 87 to arrive at value of internal and external failure cost that's it okay further you had part in part c okay Part C itself had three parts. C part one. Company had started to incur amount on appraisal and prevention cost. Due to this, internal and external failure cost will be falling. No. We have to find out how much is the deviation from 10 and 2 percent mark. So therefore, like you know, we take all the actual data, then we compare it with the standard data. The difference is the deviation. In C part two, we have to find out cost of quality for period two and period three. Cost of quality means cost of bad quality, internal and external failure cost and cost of good quality means appraisal and prevention cost. Do remember in future also, whenever they will ask you, you know, please find out the cost of quality under the four recognized heads. There are four recognized heads of cost of quality, which four heads? Internal failure cost, external failure cost, prevention cost and appraisal cost. Okay, so therefore we just try to total it up and that's what I explained to you all before. In C part 3, we have to make, we have to make a report on showing the progress of TQM. Okay, we find uh, we find out from the period one to two, and then from period two to three, what was the savings in terms of the failure cost, and then how much did we spend on cost of good quality. So, therefore, to prepare that report, obviously due to TQM, our uh, internal and external failure cost will be falling. Okay. Internal and external failure costs are called as cost of bad quality. But obviously to save that particular thing, you are becoming more quality conscious for that you are spending on internal, sorry, for that you are spending on appraisal cost and prevention cost. So therefore, we try to be seeing that and then there was the net effect. From period 1 to 2, there was loss, but then from period 2 to 3, there were profits. Uh, we say that TKM is a long run philosophy. Okay, in short run, it might increase the cost, but in long run, it will always give the benefit as can be seen from period two to three. Okay, that's it. Your question number two as such. Okay, then question number three was supposed to be a homework section question. In case you have tried it, in any case, just compare your answer. Okay, especially the comments part. Okay, with that or whatever is uh, is given on the website. So that particular thing is important. Okay, so try to be doing that particular thing. It'll be far better. Okay, uh, otherwise it's not a very tough question. It is quite an easy question. The numbers are very less. Just the comments part. I want you all to be getting that in a perfect way. Okay, that was your question number two, and then question number three. Then we started away with question number four as such. Now this was slightly a different kind, uh, different kind of question. Uh, company was doing something then it thought we will try to follow total quality management and then all the benefits had started to be coming you have to be doing two things first 
try to be finding out how many units we have to be producing because in the question that was given to you it was told that we have to be ultimately selling 5000 units to the customer but for that you have to be producing much more because there will be replacements there will be defects that was one thing second in this case uh, you had to be purchasing raw material much more than whatever is required in your product why because there will be losses of storage and then there will be processing losses also third Machines also you require more time because then there will be idle time of the machine. So therefore in part first you were asked these particular three things. Find out gross production. Find out how much raw material is to be purchased. The third particular thing in this case how many gross machines will be there. In part two you had to try to be finding out the profits okay, that the company is earning before the TQM, after the TQM. So therefore that was whatever was the question all about. So what did we start off with? Okay see. A starting point in this case was this particular data. We need to be selling 5000 units per period. Okay. Now 5000 as per me is going to be units invoiced. That is those main number of good units we are going to be selling. In part first of the question, it was told to you find out the total production in units pre-inspection means how many gross units you are going to be making before you all do the inspection. Now I'm trying to explain all the things in this particular video okay of all about before the implementation after the implementation is exactly same as before the implement uh, before the implementation except numbers will change now see we ultimately need to be selling 5000 units okay now point number five and point number six okay were of use to us how production quantity allowed for downgrading at 12.5 percent of the production units at the final inspection stage downgraded units are going to be sold at seconds as seconds uh, at a discount of 30% of standard selling price. Now standard selling price in this particular case was supposed to be 1000. Those guys told that once the units are produced then they are inspected and whenever the inspection happens 12.5% of the units are downgraded means those are not worth selling in the market. So those goods we ultimately sell at a lower price at 30% discount. So therefore these goods will be sold at 700 because the normal product is sold at 1000. Now 12.5% of the units produced will be downgraded. Okay so therefore if you are going to be producing say 100 units okay out of that 12.5% will be gone so therefore this particular thing will be 87.5 okay these will be kind of the good units that will be uh, there with us after the inspection process is over then there was one other thing also what uh, there is replacement at the rate of 5% of the units actually delivered to the customer we thought units actually delivered to the customer will mean 5000 only so therefore in this particular case this thing we interpreted in this particular manner if you are going to be selling 100 units if you are going to be selling say 100 units then in that particular case uh 5% no i guess this particular thing was 5% just a sec yeah so this particular thing was 5% so therefore we got to be producing 105 okay so therefore 87.5 corresponds to 105 and ultimately what we had to be doing i will try to be doing this that will be far better okay this thing i'll shift it up on this side and then what happened was just a sec yeah, this particular figure was 87.5 and then what we all did in this case 5000 units okay we ultimately had to try to sell or try to deliver to the customer okay these were supposed to be the units invoice from here first of all we caught hold of this we reached till here then we caught hold of it and reached till here okay and ultimately we came to know what are the gross units to be produced now do remember whenever these units will be produced we will require the material also this particular answer came as something i'll try to tell you all if i can do that on the calci into five percent so therefore this thing was five two five zero divided by 87.5 percent so therefore this particular figure was six thousand so therefore we got to be producing gross units as six thousand to ultimately sell five thousand units okay that was supposed to be our first part first required part that was asked find out this particular thing then purchases of material in square meters now see one unit of the product required eight square meters so therefore six thousand units that we are going to be producing six thousand into eight so therefore forty eight thousand square meters will be there inside your product beta okay but you got to be purchasing raw material much more why because there will be losses over here the losses in this particular case were mentioned in point number one and in point number two five percent of the units incoming from the material uh five percent of the incoming materials from the supply will be scrapped due to poor receipt and storage problem so therefore if in this case you are going to be producing 100 okay out of 100 how much will be scrapped over here 5 percent so therefore this will be left with 95 once this particular thing is done then 4 percent of the material x input inside the machine process is wasted due to the processing problem so therefore 95 into 4 percent okay this particular thing was supposed to be 3.8 
so like these are units purchased this is the loss in storage only these are the units input inside the machine 3.8 will be gone okay and left in this particular case this will be there inside your product and obviously this particular figure corresponded to 48,000 we have to try to be going back and find out this particular thing so 48,000 divided by 91.2 percent so therefore this was 52,000 632 or something like that okay this was a figure that is the units purchased okay now this was your second part that we had to be doing okay that is purchase of material x in square meters and gross machine hours now see each and every unit over here it was given to you will be requiring 0.6 running hours of the machine so therefore we had to be producing 6000 so therefore 6000 units into 0 0.6 so therefore we require 3600 machine hours 3600 machine hours machine hours but then these are this these are supposed to be the running hours of the machine okay but we didn't have to be finding out the running hours because our cost was incurred in reference to gross hours how to be reaching from running hours to gross hours it was given to you one line over here machine idle time is 20 percent of gross machine hours that is uh, running R is equal to 80% of gross hours. So, in this case, if you have 100 hours, out of that, 20% machine is idle. So, therefore, 80% machine is running. This 3600 corresponded to 80%. So, therefore, 100% will be how much? 4500. Okay. That finished off, in this case, our part A. Although, this part A, we have to try to do it two times. Once before implementation, once after. After only the percentages had changed and nothing else. Okay. And then in part B, we had to try to prepare the PL account, showing the profit before and after the implementation of QMP. At that particular time, try to take all your sales, try to take all your costs before and after. Now, in sales, just do remember that in sales, no, there'll be two categories of sales. One, good units, that is 5,000 units, you're going to be selling at the rate of rupees 1000 plus the downgraded units you are going to be selling at 700 so sales will be coming from two sources and in cost all these particular costs were given to us first of all in this particular case the material cost was given that is whatever is a material purchase at the rate of 40 per square meter then in that case there was a cost like this particular cost that is inspection and the storage cost of material x at the rate of rupee 1 per square meter purchase that could be the next particular cost uh, then the third cost in this case was two and a half lakh rupees. Then product liability was 3% of the standard sales. After that uh, machine idle cost, uh, sorry, the machine cost in terms of gross machine hours we all have taken above. This cost was directly given to us and prevention program cost was uh, directly there with us. So therefore we use that particular thing to find out the revenue, find out the cost, subtract it, try to get the profit over here. That's it that we had to be doing for that question. Now it is one of the full numerical questions whereby no comments or nothing when it was asked in the old course, it was asked for 16 marks. I really think that whenever it will be asked in the new course at that time, they will ask you this particular part, then they will ask you some theory part of that. That do you recommend that the company should be going for the quality management, what are the advantages of total quality management it helps you in all those particular things so all those things then you all can start to be writing okay now that's it about your this particular question okay then we started away with one of the most controversial questions question number five now this was there in the old modules also and uh, sorry this was there when the new modules had come out i guess in the year 2018 uh, then once it had been put in the rtp of november 2021 also but in november 2021 they put one re uh, remark which i did not like also that i'll try to be saying now see in this particular question, no, it was all same as your previous question. That is material, labor and variable overheads. So therefore, your variable cost in this case was 75. Plus, whenever replacements will start to be happening, no, we will need to deliver them the product again. That will call that will be costing us rupees 5 extra. So therefore, replacements in this case will be valued at 80 rupees. Defectives will be valued at 75. Replacements will be valued at 80 rupees because again, we'll have to try to re-deliver the product. That was one thing. Now, we are going to be selling 28,000 units. Okay. For that now, we have to try to be finding out like, you know, internal failure cost, external failure cost. Appraisal cost and prevention cost. Appraisal cost and prevention cost was very simple. But the thing that was there was currently company is not following a TKM system. Okay, currently it is not doing that. And currently its cost of quality is coming down to this particular figure. This is your current cost of quality. If currently we are not quality conscious, we are not uh, incurring appraisal cost, prevention cost. We are not incurring those particular things. Okay. <clears throat> so only cost that we are incurring are internal failure cost and external failure cost. Now, 
in external and internal failure cost these was replacement okay so therefore this was external failure cost then this much will be discovered faulty at inspection stage so therefore this will be internal failure cost and 10 percent of the direct material will be scrapped due to damage while in storage this particular thing again will be internal failure cost so therefore internal internal external okay now the problem that was there it was 12.5 percent of the units delivered to the customer if i take the meaning of units delivered as 28,000, no then in that case we solve the entire question in fact exactly like your last problem okay there was nothing for me to be saying but in end no then something happened and that happening was this particular figure that cost of quality did not come to this in fact i say gave that as an alternate answer in the rtps of november 2021 which is wrong because if you're going to be taking 12.5 percent of the units delivered to the customer and delivered means you're going to be taking that particular thing as 28,000, then in that case answer does not match only i say has written that as one of the options but then that contradicts with the question itself because in the question this particular number was there so therefore, then I explain to you in this particular question, units delivered in this particular case will be meaning that after defectives, how much is left? And that was whatever was there in point B of the question. 20% of the items produced will be discovered faulty at the inspection stage before they are delivered to the customer. So after defectives, whatever is left, that is whatever is the word units delivered to the customers mean. Once you do that particular thing, your answer correctly tallies with this. Okay, that's it. There was nothing else in this question. It was exactly same as the last question. But do not do that alternate view of the institute. Okay, if I'm going to be the examiner, I'll give it totally wrong because it does not match with the answer of the institute itself. If ICA has told that current cost of quality is this, so therefore in our answer also this particular cost should be coming. Apart from that, uh, in this case, you had been asked that would you recommend the proposal? Now do remember, even if suppose even if suppose your cost increases no due to you becoming more quality conscious it is all fine it is all fine why it is all fine because even if your cost will be increasing no at that time we still start to be thinking that if we become quality conscious in long run our products quality is going to be far better overall we will start to be increasing the prices okay customer loyalty will start to be increasing so therefore in long run these things are always 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 better okay so even if your cost increases do not ever say that companies should not become quality conscious they should become quality conscious okay so try to always show a long run picture in case financially the proposal is not sound okay now that was supposed to be this particular question i'll just try to read whatever i've written in the shots it's a problem where we have to measure effectiveness of quality management program. I guess this was your last question, beta. Okay. So I'll read that particular la last question, uh, shorts ones. We have to sell 5,000 good units. This is for the last question, huh? your question number four. So question number five will be coming after this in the period. And we have to be finding out quantity produced first. There are two types of losses, internal failure cost out of every 100 units, 12.5% are defective. Okay. Rest can be sold to the customer, returns from the customer are five percent of goods hence to sell 100 we have to produce 105 moreover even for materials there are two types of losses one is a storage loss and the other one are processing losses after losses whatever we get is the raw material which is there inside your final product okay further there is idle time of machines hours after subtraction of the idle hours in this case are going to be used for production and those hours actually are called as running hours in the problem other things are very normal in the question while finding out the profit do remember that uh, for finding out the profit and loss before and after the quality management program do remember that sales will be coming from two sources one from 5000 units and other one from downgraded units which will be sold as seconds okay and then your question number five the controversial question that i did right now it was also asked in rtp november 2021 papers it is similar to the previous question but one thing that is too important is that replacements are 12.5 percent of the units delivered to the customer meaning of the units delivered to the customer was not clear to us hence we solved the question once but our answer did not tally with the cost which were given to you in the problem and hence we took the second meaning and solved it Material lost in storage will be internal failure cost. I explained you defective units will be valued at variable cost of production that is rupee 75 while the replaced units will be valued at 80 because we are going to be re-delivering the product that will be costing us rupees 5. In end financial proposals. In end the uh, proposal is not financially viable. Uh, 
as the cost are increased but then there are other factors to be considered in the long run okay mention the concepts which i gave you right in the beginning over here that tqm is a long run philosophy it gives you all these particular benefits so therefore you write down those particular things over here okay that's it whatever was done about this particular question that was question number five question number six is supposed to be a one star question it was supposed to be a homework section question very easy just you have to try to classify the things under the four heads over here appraisal prevention internal failure cost and external failure cost you will not be facing any problem as such okay question number seven again slightly a controversial question okay because i see i changed the answer of it and uh, i told that particular thing right in the class i guess okay like we are told uh, i guess in 2019 whenever i gave the solutions i told you that this was a flaw in the paper and uh, in the question and how the answer should be and then how in 2021 when the new models had come out at that time everything had changed so uh, this question was all about that only now this question was all about you produce and sell some particular product its selling price is 2500 material cost assembly cost was given to you and total of this particular thing was 1400 plus you re deliver the product back sorry you deliver the product to the customer for that rupees 100 will be there so therefore 1500 was supposed to be your variable cost selling price minus a variable cost started to give you your contribution okay now currently we are having a market share of 1 lakh units okay that is 20% market share so therefore market size must be 5 lakh units we are trying to be thinking that if our product quality was super good then in that case we could have captured 30% market that is 5 lakhs into 30% that is 10% increase so therefore it would have been 1 lakh 50 thousand that is what we are trying to be thinking because in in case our quality was very good then customers will be building like you know our loyalty with us they will start to be spreading the words that the quality of our products is very good then our sales would have increased okay there is one thing apart from that in this case currently we are selling 1 lakh units 1 lakh units and there are returns to the extent of 5000 okay so if we sell 1 lakh units customer say 5000 are defective please you replace them i tell them you send them back i'll replace them free of cost so therefore ultimately 5000 divided by 1 lakh so therefore 5% was supposed to be the uh, like you know replacement rate okay what we had to be doing in part 1 analyze the cost of poor quality per annum due to supply of defective items to the customer now how to be finding out cost of poor quality beta these 5000 units you will have to try to produce them again no okay so therefore that will be your internal failure cost into your variable cost 1500 so therefore this was one thing apart from that in cost of poor quality one other thing will be coming if your quality was good you would have sold 50000 units extra in the market you would have got 1000 rupees as contribution so therefore that particular thing will be opportunity cost so therefore that cost also be added this was supposed to be a total cost okay then part 2 in this case was supposed to be a proposal whereby we will incur 2 crore rupees per annum once a product is made we will inspect it once we inspect that particular product then what will start to be happening will be coming to know which units are defective those units we will not send only to the customer okay and uh, ultimately perception about us in the market will start to be increasing because customers will not be coming to know about the defective units because we are trying to be inspecting them okay you have to be try to be saying that this proposal is it worth it or not okay now do remember this proposal is doing the inspection at the end of the uh, production it will not eliminate the defects no 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 it will help us to identify those defects which we could not identify ourselves okay so therefore defectives will still be there but will not be reaching the customer we have to try to be saying that is this proposal worthwhile or not can we say if this particular proposal will be implemented first of all there will be 2 crore rupees of cost for sure okay that will be your relevant cost what will be your relevant revenue sir my relevant revenue those 5000 units now will not be delivered to the customer only so therefore 5000 into 100 rupees that is the delivery cost this particular figure will be saved okay so therefore that will be one relevant revenue perception about us will be improving in the market so therefore our sales will be rising we will be getting extra contribution on 50000 units at the rate of rupees 1000 okay so therefore obviously this 1000 is nothing but your selling price minus your variable cost that will be my extra contribution that i will be getting but then do remember one thing more do remember one particular thing more 2500 units that is 5% of this will still be produced defective okay 
and uh, although there will be an inspection process due to which it will not be reaching the customer so therefore 2500 into 14 this will be the extra sorry into 1400 this will be the extra cost on those 2500 units okay so therefore your relevant cost were basically two things what one is that inspection process that costs us rupees 2 crores other particular thing in this case is that still 2500 extra units will be produced which we will produce for sure, we will not deliver. So therefore, my internal failure cost will be at the rate of uh, 1400. But then two benefits also, we will get extra contribution from 50,000 units. Apart from that, we will save on to the delivery cost okay, of those units which were supposed to be faulty. In end, we try to find out whatever was the best option. Okay, That was your this particular part. Now, once this particular part was done, then in that case, we started to solve part 3. Now, this was slightly a question of 6 sigma. Okay whereby we try to incur rupees 4 crores okay and by incurring this 4 crores we try to be ensuring like you know that defectives are not produced at all then you had to be saying that is this proposal worthwhile or not okay defectives will be totally uh, eliminated in this particular case no defectives will get produced only now in such kind of case obviously there will be a relevant cost of how much 4 crores but then what will be our benefits our benefits in this particular case our perception about us in the market will be improving we will be able to sell 50,000 units extra at the rate of rupees 1000 so that is the extra contribution that we are going to be getting apart from that in this particular case 5000 into 1000 that will be one thing second thing in this case those internal failure cost of 5000 units that we were incurring okay now those units okay they will be not produced only so therefore entire variable cost of 1500 in that particular case will be saved because what was happening whenever we were producing those 1 lakh units that currently we are selling also 1 lakh units we were producing okay out of that 5000 were defective customer used to be saying that take 5000 units back from us uh, I say okay I'll make them again and I'll be selling them to you okay although I'll be selling them free free of course because it is basically a replacement now if our production is going to be becoming superb no defect is produced at all obviously those replacements will not happen only and the cost of those particular replacements will be saving for us so therefore this will be a benefit this will be a benefit this will be our cost we found out our net benefit as such okay I'm reading the summary of these particular three points first okay before in this case I'll jump over to the last point Selling price is 2500. Okay, the variable cost is 1500, including delivery cost of rupees 100. The company has a market share of 1 lakh units per year out of the market size of 5 lakhs. Okay, if quality was very good, market share would have been 1 lakh 50,000, that is 30%. In any case, due to poor quality, there is replacement of 5000 units. Hence, to sell 1 lakh, we need to be producing 1 lakh 5. In part 1, we have to find out the cost of poor quality, that is find out the cost of producing 5000 units, obviously at the rate of 1500, which will require the replacement and then contribution lost on 50,000 units. Okay, it was quite simple. In part 2, we were doing some inspection at the end of the production. Defectives will still be there, but will not be delivered to the customer, which will cost rupees 2 crores. We have to be, uh, had to evaluate this particular proposal. Okay. Had... <coughs> Sorry, here our saving will only be the delivery cost of 5000 units. So therefore, this will be relevant revenue for us and we will get contribution on those 50,000 units extra. Now, this particular part, I see added it lately. Okay, and this was apart from that, there will be extra cost of 2500 units, which will still be produced. Okay, which will require replacement, but cost in this case will only be 1400 because we will not deliver them to the customer. Okay, that is one thing. Ah. <coughs> uh, that is one thing so uh, then point number six now there is a new proposal this is part third of the question we will check the quality of the raw material okay due to which the quality will become the best and no defectives will be produced at all only this will be costing four crore rupees here we say that we have complete cost of five thousand units uh, here we say that we will be saving complete cost of 5000 units and hence we will be getting contribution of 50,000 units at the rate of rupees 1000 per unit. Okay. Uh, here when we try to be evaluating this entire thing, no, our profit over here was lower than the profit over here. So therefore then in part, last part now, those guys have started to ask you that which proposal do you recommend over here? Now do remember that uh, in this particular proposal, no, profits are higher. But still there are defectives which are produced. But after taking into account defectives also, still our profit is higher. 
over here no defectors are produced but the cost of doing this particular thing was 4 crores okay and ultimately the profit in this case was less it was still there but it was less they are asking out of that proposal and this proposal okay which as per you all is a better proposal now do remember that see financial things also do matter yaar okay we cannot always try to be having non-financial factors right so financially also like you know it does matter so therefore we try to be saying that in long run like you know this particular thing might still be better okay but financially speaking this thing makes more sense sense to us as such then we try to arrive at a midway like you know how to be commenting that you know just to have like you know a zero defect can we start to incur so much that financially might not be very great for us it is still good for us but not very great for us even if we follow the earlier proposal okay defectives start to be becoming less okay although uh defectives will not be reaching to the customer so therefore my market my market share will still be improving only so what is to be done now that was a judgment call so therefore in part seven what did we do we try to be replying in a diplomatic way that what the company should be doing now those guys can try to go for a selective quality control that is like you know in first case we are only spending two crores in this case we are spending four crores try to be finding out a midway whereby say that we can be spending three crores and the profit over there is much higher than this and this okay that could be the best situation that could be there okay uh, otherwise financially this particular thing is far 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 better although here you can be proud of yourself like you know that you produce the zero defectives but i still think as a businessman like you know that what I will do with the zero defect is when, I, when my profit is less. So therefore all those things we are trying to be discussing over here. Okay. That was your this particular question. Okay. Then in that case we started away with question number 8. Question number 8 was one of the simplest one. In 5 minutes we all could finish. There was a proposal as such you had to be saying it is good or bad. Try to find out the benefit. And in part 2 we had to try to find out the minimum uh, rejection rate. So therefore we are indifferent. So therefore we made some equation we all got the answer. The moment you will see in 2 minutes it will be getting over. Okay so therefore I am not trying to do a recap. And same way question number 9 was supposed to be done for homework. Okay it is nothing big. You It is almost same as your question number eight only so therefore i kept it for homework okay same two kind of things are to be done as it was there in question number eight just attempt those particular questions in case one percent chance you will not make it okay then in that case the answers on the website are there okay that's it about your this particular thing okay and it all got over with that